Hey everyone! Um, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to wax your legs at home. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have done a video like this, but this is just how I do it. Um, I was getting ready to wax mine and I was like, you know what, I'm going to YouTube this. So um, I'm going to show y'all what y'all need and then I'm going to actually show y'all me waxing my legs. So if that kind of stuff um, like grosses you out or whatever, um, just don't watch it. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so this is everything that you need to wax your legs. Um, I got this all at Sally's Beauty Supply and it cost me like $60. Now you can get kits with all this stuff in it, but I found that the kits, they come with a lot of creams and stuff that I don't actually use. But, um, okay, so I bought my warmer um, and then the wax that goes in it. I'm using the all-purpose wax. Um, let's see if this is too hot. Um, it's the all-purpose honey wax. Let's see that. Um, but, um, and then I have these, um, I got the large applicators, and they're like this. Then I got the, um, the roll of muslin, because you can cut it into whatever size you want. Then we have um, these little guys that go around this, so um, you can, like, lay your applicator on it or just to protect, and then some baby oil. Okay, so here's my leg. <laughs> and um, I'm going to start off by just taking, like, one of these wipes and just cleaning the area that I'm going to be waxing. That way there's not any lotions or oils or anything on my um, on the area that would cause the wax to not stick to the hair. So you need to make sure that your um, skin is really clean. Now, you want your wax to have a very um, honey consistency. I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's you know it's coming off of the um, the applicator really well. And what you're going to do is you're going to just do a very thin layer of the wax and you want to do um, just make sure that you're you have an even amount of wax because if your wax is too thick then your muslin isn't going to stick and I mean it, it is going I'm sorry it is going to stick but if you have too much wax it's not going to come off and then you're going to cause bruising, and it's extremely, extremely painful. I've had it done, and it hurts. So now I have my wax on. I'm going to put my muslin on, and you're going to go rub it down like this. And then hold your skin and pull. And that's it. It may be too bright right there, but there we go. Ew, <laughs> that's pretty gross, but I'm just showing all that that's what it looks like. And that's when you know you've got your hair off. <laughs> and you can usually tell on your leg where you've already um, waxed because your skin gets lighter in that area at first. Um, and that's my birthmark right there. But um, So you just do your whole leg, and once you get more used to it, you can do a bigger strip and um, use your muslin twice. Um, you could do one part of your leg and then do like a, a part above it um, right afterwards without even stopping and just using the same muslin strip. But um, usually the professionals do that. I don't even do that on myself. So, and I'm just gonna use the same muslin. You can use the same muslin probably about twice um, because then the wax starts to build up and um, it, you risk it sticking, and that hurts really, really bad. So, and pull. So you can see the buildup of wax, and I'm that's I'm done with this muslin, and I just usually fold them in half, and I'm done with it. Okay, so now my um, my whole leg is done, and I only do the front side of my leg. I don't do the back or the top, um, just because I have really thin hair on the back of my legs, and it hurts a lot worse to wax that. Same as on my thighs, so I just do um, the front part of my leg, and I'll, like, shave 
um, the other parts. But what I'm going to do now is um, there's still going to be some excess wax on your leg. So I'm just going to take this same little wipey that I used to wipe my, my leg off at first, just fold it over, and I'm going to put some baby oil on it. Well, I put way too much, now it's dripping all over me. Oops, on my floor. Whoopsie. Okay, and then just take it and rub it over your leg, kind of not hard, but um, just with a little bit of um, force, just to get off any excess wax um, that may have been left on your leg. Because um, you may not feel it, but then the next day you wear jeans and um, <laughs> you take your jeans off and you have like crap stuck all over your leg. It's really not cute. So yeah, and then it may get, um, I have really sensitive skin, so you can see where I'm starting to get some red bumps, and my leg will get really red and bumpy um, after I wax, but um, it'll go away. It doesn't hurt or anything, it just gets red and bumpy. Now they have sensitive skin wax, um, but I don't really, it's not that big of a deal to me <laughs> to buy different kind of wax. I like the all-purpose um, and they have all different kinds of wax, like tons of different kinds. I'm just wiping some of this oil off because I got too much. And um, they have all different kinds of the wax. So, yeah, that's how I do it. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Well, hold on. So, yeah, that's how I wax my legs. Um, and the same thing goes for any other body part that you're going to wax. Um, just clean it and, um, you know, put the wax on in the opposite direction of the hair grows and pull the muslin in the direction that your hair grows and all that. It's really simple. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions about waxing at all, leave me a comment. Uh, thanks for being and subscribing, you guys. Bye.